Hello everyone, I'm Lina from the Columbus Public Library and today we will be learning about bullet journaling. To begin bullet journaling, you will need these basic supplies, a journal, a pen or pencil, and a ruler. Although a dotted journal is preferred, a graph paper notebook will work just as well. Later, you can start to incorporate more decorative elements such as Sharpies, color pencils, markers, and washi tape. So what is a bullet journal, you may ask? The short answer is that it is anything that you need it to be. It's a way to keep track of your daily tasks, events, notes, important dates, and even journal entries all in one place. So, where do you start? Before you begin with the bullet journal pages, you'll want to create a key or legend that works for you. A key is created by selecting symbols you would like to use to signify whether what you are writing is a note, event, or a task, and how important each of those are. Let's begin with the index. This is used to keep track of where your items are in your bullet journal. As you add more pages to your journal, you can update this page so they are easier to find when you need them. Now let's add the future spread. The future spread gives you an overview of the events, appointments, and goals you want to remember throughout the year and can be used as reference when needed. Next, you choose the way you prefer your information to be organized, whether that be creating a monthly spread, a weekly spread, or a daily spread. You can choose to keep the layouts consistent or even switch it up each month until you find what works best for you. Keep in mind that the number of pages that are in your journal depends on the layout you choose. You might even need the help of another notebook halfway through the year, depending on the layouts you choose to create. When creating these pages, you can be as creative or as minimalistic as you want. The choice is yours. Lastly, you'll want to incorporate different tracker pages into your journal. These are used to help you keep track of habits you are learning to develop and can help you get rid of bad habits you don't want. You may want to keep track of how much you sleep versus how much you study for the month. After tracking this habit, you can then determine what needs you need to change in order to be more productive during your day.
Thanks for joining me for today's program. I'm Lina for the Columbus Public Library, and thanks for watching.